Hello, this is Charlie Lewis with Kentucky Electric Cooperatives. All of us have poles in our service areas that many would consider old. If the poles continue to test well during our pole inspection and treatment program, there isn't a good reason to change them. However, before we climb a pole, it is imperative that we feel confident with the stability and safety of the pole. The 16th edition of the APPA Safety Manual states, in Rule 507.3, Climbing and Working on Poles, that all poles and structures shall be carefully inspected before climbing to assure that they are in a safe condition for the work to be performed and that they are capable of sustaining the additional or unbalanced stresses to which they will be subjected. The types of abnormalities that should be checked are general condition, cracks, holes, shell rot and decay, knots, depth of setting, soil conditions, and burn marks. Acceptable tests for poles are hammer tests and rocking tests. Also, if poles or structures may be unsafe for climbing, they shall not be climbed until made safe by guying, bracing, or other adequate means. Different types of poles will make different sounds. However, one characteristic all solid poles will share is that the hammer will rebound when striking. One sign of a pole that may be deteriorating or decayed is that the hammer will thud and not rebound as it normally would. Take the time necessary to remove any doubt that you may have prior to climbing.